Yeah, you wanna be here? Okay, so my name is Fabio D'Alessi and uh, this is uh, a Migo product that we have here, a home automation framework entirely based on Migo. Okay, good. Let's uh, have a closer look, shall we? Okay. So, oh, just wait a second. So, can I speak? In? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, whenever you have very complex buildings like houses, hospitals, or you know palaces, you always face yourself with the problem of having to interface many different devices, and every device speaks a different protocol mm -hmm. and can be on a different bus. So, what we did here was a technology to have to integrate all the buses and protocols in a single architecture which we call the abstract the virtual bus. Thanks to this architecture it's very easy to control simple things like lightings or for example power power lines mechanical actuators such as the, the ventilation fans and you can control also more complex things like for example an IP camera like the one that we are seeing and also very fancy devices such as a car. Thanks to this device we can connect to the service port on a car and we can connect directly to the engines of the car. We can for example set the inside temperature of the car in the morning before leaving. We can check the charge of the battery and we can inter interrogate all, all the data of the car. We have, we have also the possibility to have, uh, for example, the heating of the house, obviously. You can set the temperature inside of your house and so on. The interface is very fluent, it's very smooth. It's been done entirely in Qt, QML, and it's based on Migo. So underneath there's Migo. And uh, we also have some very interesting effects from, uh, this is a prototype lamp by a company in Italy, which does RGB lighting. So we have a widget where you can set the, 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 the room, uh, the, the color temperature of the light, and you can set it through very, very easily. So these are all very different devices. I mean, these are all very different devices that interact with each other. And so it's uh, another thing that uh, that is nice to see is that the same base code has been used to do the same thing on a portable phone by Nokia. This is an N900. As, I, as you can see, the interface is the same, and you do the same things. That looks uh, very, very good, to say the least. I want that on my phone, but we'll talk about that very soon. I'm not joking, I, I want it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this, is, this, is already, this is already a product on the market. Oh, there okay. are companies that, that in Italy. That was a question that I was potentially going to ask. Uh, when is it shipping? When can people have it? Oh, we are. This is a product for OEM customers. We are doing B2B. Uh, we are looking for B2B models. So our typical customers are uh, OEM manufacturers of home automation uh, systems, which want to implement our technology. So we, there are shipping products uh, in uh, 2011 with this technology. Oh, brilliant. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want uh, my business card, as you can.